If you want your life to be different, you must learn to think differently. And that is the thought for today. Welcome to 7 Good Minutes. I'm Clyde Lee Dennis. Thanks for joining me for what I believe will be seven of the most enriching minutes of your day. In today's audio, Dr. Miles Monroe and John Maxwell remind us that in order for life to be different, we must learn to think differently. Enjoy. Attitudes, mentality, and mindset. If you want to be an impactful personality, You have to develop certain types of thinking and perceptions that change the way you see yourself and see the world. If I could just sit down with you and we could talk just one-on-one, and if I could do anything for you, if you'd say, John, what is it that you could do for me that would help me to be successful in life? The thing that I would do for you, if I could, is I would teach you how to think correctly. You see, The largest gap between successful and unsuccessful people in life is the thinking gap. I'm not talking about being smart. I'm not talking about an IQ. I'm talking about how you think, how I think. Successful people think differently than unsuccessful people. And the Apostle Paul understood that. It doesn't matter how big you are, how intelligent you are, how many degrees you get. It's your mind that keeps you small. You don't need to be intelligent. You don't need to be smart. You don't need to have a certain height. You don't need to have a certain weight. You don't need to have any kind of advantage. The attitude is the difference. Attitude. Wise thinking leads to right living. Stupid thinking leads to wrong living. How true that is. Your attitude, my attitude, is the paintbrush of the mind. In other words, you and I hold the paintbrush in our hand and we get to determine the picture we put in the mind that we have. And it doesn't matter how small you are or how unintelligent you may seem to be or how much you don't have. It is the thinking of the person that makes them see circumstances differently. The attitude, therefore, is the difference. People ask me, how am I doing? My answer is, I have no problems. The word problem is a human definition of an opportunity to grow. If you call it a problem, it's a negative. If you see it as an opportunity, it becomes a positive. Attitude is a product of belief. You cannot have an attitude beyond your belief. So your attitude comes from your belief system. I remember sleeping on a mattress on the floor. I remember sleeping one time on a a mat. And that sheet never kept the mosquitoes out. All around me was poverty. But we didn't know that because everybody was poor. The only way you know you're poor is when you meet a rich person. And every opportunity was around me to think negative. And I remember, you know, my mother and father would tell us things to, to fix our belief system. They would say, you can do anything you want to do, son. And they said that when I was sleeping on the floor. It's your mind. They were working on my belief system. And then they taught us the Bible. Now, I don't know about you and your belief about the Bible, but the Bible made me what I am today. So don't you talk bad about the Bible. And if you don't believe in the Bible, that's okay. I'm doing just fine, believe me. And the Bible helped me become what I am. But it was that book that checked my thinking. How do you think? Write this down. Attitude is a product of belief. Let's go to the passage. Summing it all up, friends, I'd say you'll do best by filling your minds and meditating on things true, noble, reputable, authentic, compelling, gracious, the best, not the worst, the beautiful, not the ugly, things to praise, not things to curse. Put into practice what you've learned from me and what you heard and what you saw. Do that and God, who makes everything work together, will work into your most excellent harmony. When I was a kid, my my parents paid me an allowance to read books. They selected the books. And every day we had to read 30 minutes a day. And one one of the things that we read, one of the books we read, was a book by James Allen. And this book, As a Man Thinketh, 
had an incredible impact upon my life. And here's a statement from the book. The greatest discovery in my generation is that human beings can alter their lives by altering their attitude. Wow. That your life can be changed. My life can be changed if we just change our attitude. The, the, most, the most important real estate, we, we, the most important real estate in life is six inches between the ears. How we think. No one can live beyond the limits of their belief. So if you want to live beyond what you're living now, you have to change your belief system. When you have the discovery of a new belief system, your life is what you think it should be. That's exactly what you are right now. You are what you thought you should be. And if you don't like who you are, you got to change what you think you should be. The secret to anyone rising is what happens in their belief system. No amount of training or management methods or titles, no amount of promotion or associations with rich people or smart people can ever substitute for the right attitude. You got to first change your perception of who you are. And that starts with a belief system. Secondly, you must change your perception of why you think you exist. And number three, your sense of significance. Once you discover, no matter where you are right now, it doesn't matter, I don't care what situation you're in now, where you're working, or what situation you're in, your perception of who you are, you've got to change it. And most of our perceptions are other people's concepts of us, and therefore we don't have self-concept, we got other concepts. What is your perception of who you are? And the second one, why do you think you exist? You got to discover that you were born for something. Some reason, there's some purpose for your life. If you don't discover that, you'll always have a job and we'll bury you in an average grave with an average tombstone. Please keep in mind, this is about half of the entire presentation. If you're up for a treat, you should definitely listen to the whole thing. You can do so by clicking the link labeled View the Full Video in the show notes. So that does it for this episode of 7 Good Minutes. Until next time, let's be civil to one another out there. Thanks for listening.